Alright, hello guys. Uh, today is the first of my uh, series of event tutorial. I'm gonna do quick and short event tutorials, which gonna cover um, each one's gonna cover uh, individual uh, command uh, event commands. So uh, today we're gonna cover something I already done in the past, but in uh, lower quality. Uh, the B2 command, which allows to uh, basically call a subroutine, or uh, in other words, jump. Uh, make the code jump somewhere else and come back to the code uh, after. So basically this uh, allows us to have more place of event by uh, jumping to either uh, expanded uh, banks or uh, just basically uh, anywhere uh, in the room where there is uh, empty space. So uh, okay, first of all uh, what we're going to do today uh, we remove part of the intro so uh, this is the uh, event dump. I'm gonna link it uh, where it's available after. So basically, uh, we're gonna start here uh, in the intro where Wedge say uh, will approach from the east, move out, and 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 move uh, the whole events until the the beginning of the intro credits uh, after the return year. So uh, all that block's gonna be moved. Uh, sometimes you can't uh, really move uh, a big block of uh, event code because uh, there's a um, conditional branching uh, in the code and this is like art code offset so you, if you move them it's gonna crash so but here well, we don't have any of this here so it's gonna work so uh, okay basically uh, now I'm gonna explain uh, in the X editor uh, first we're gonna we're, we're gonna remove the editor so we're just gonna take uh, the first 200 bytes and press delete you can save so there's no uh, difference between the uh, event dump or uh, anything else uh, there, we don't have to add uh, 200 bytes each time it's a bit confusing uh, for beginners the editor thing so I just remove the editor every time I'm working with the ROM unless uh, I got a patch to apply that requires an editor then uh, I put it back but editors are pretty useless uh, so it's better to not use them um, okay, first of all, uh, we're gonna go to uh, the offsets. The offset we have uh, we have here CC99F1. Um, CC99F1 is uh, it's actually a IROM offset. Uh, this translates in the um, in the X editor by uh, OC99F1. You just have to subtract CO from uh, the offset, and you're gonna get the to the right place. Uh, this is because IROM banks start at CO in uh, the SNS. Uh, there's some X editor like uh, Windex that uh, can display IROM offset, but it's not really something that is hard to calculate. Uh, you just remove CO. So if your bank is DO, it's going to be 10000. So uh, yeah, this is uh, our uh, this is how it works. So I use a uh, XHD as a uh, X editor. So which now we're gonna do control G to go to an offset and we're gonna enter OC 99F1. Alright. So uh, we're at the the good spot. We got we got our four B the command four B, which is the dialogue which is here. So uh, a little trick I do uh, you can do to make sure you you have the uh, the good block of code selected. Uh, you can enter the ending offset, so I'm just going to enter C9A4E, the, bit, the ending offset, and you press enter, and it's going to select the old block for you. Uh, this is not really relevant when you got a, a small block of code to uh, to actually um, ca uh, select, but it's is good for a big block of code or selecting uh, a wider range of bytes. So uh, now we're going to do we're going to copy this copy in the clipboard and just for the sake of the example and to uh, prove that it's working at the end uh, I'm gonna fill the selection with uh, FFs so all the code is erased now like control S to save so I prefer anyway when I have I want to make space uh, in the event uh, banks event banks are CA to CC so when I when I make space here uh, I already have uh, 
clean code so I just erase what I don't use instead of keep leaving it there even if it's not used uh, in fact so uh, all right the bidu command one, one thing that is important is that it reads it, it reads uh, offset uh, zero as ca zero 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 this is why it's because it's the beginning uh, of the uh, event bank so anything any parameters you're gonna give to the b2 command you need to subtract ca from it so uh, I've chosen uh, a random offset which is f8 4520 this is an expanded ROM my ROM is expanded so uh, this is gonna translate to 2e 4520 when I write my b2 command uh, this is because I do f8 minus ca equals 2e if you're not sure you can do it with the the um, the Windows calculator in uh, programmer mode. So uh, you just do uh, F8 minus CA. You got your 2E, so it's 2E. So uh, right now um, we're going to write our B2 command. Uh, B2 command has 3 byte parameter, which is the inverted offset. So we're going to write B2, 20, 45, 2E v2 20 45 2e right so this is our b2 command so when uh, the code is going to reach here it's going to jump there and come back after uh, to make sure the code continues uh, reading we're going to put the fe command there was already there one there so we're going to put it but in case uh, in case you would have code uh, that continues, let's like, say here and on this byte, uh, you could put like uh, empty event commands such as fd, which does nothing, uh, nothing else but running code. It's like it's, it can be considered as a filter. If you want, you could put fds, 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 and then your code continue here, or you can. But for an, an optimal way to do it is really to have your code continue here when when the code the code is going to jump back after the the b2 command so but here since we add um, an f and uh, uh, a return to subroutine command fe we're just going to put the fe in put the ff there i'm going to save there and now we're going to go uh we're going to move our new code but not the new code but the the code we're going to move so i'm going to go to f8 uh, 4520 which is 382520 since we uh, subtract CO from F8 since it's an IROM offset so it's going to be 384520 we go there then we just do paste paste um, if we make paste insert it's going to change the file size and it's going to shift everything to the right so uh, we're going to do paste right which is overwrite what's there already we do this we con control s uh, here we already add uh, an fe command finishing the uh, the event we're moving but in case you don't have a fe when you remove your code you you gotta have uh, add one so when it reach e re it, the code reach here it's gonna go back to where the code was originally and continue the event uh, if you don't put that it's gonna continue reading fs and it's gonna crash here obviously because it's not readable code for the uh, the game engine so all right basically this is what uh, we have done so yeah uh, don't forget the fe return uh, command after the code so basically this is what the b2 command does uh, I'm just gonna show you uh, exactly uh, did I save yeah I did save save all okay so basically I'm gonna I'm we're gonna load the ROM which was this one and now we just have uh, to go through the uh, the intro so uh, we're just gonna do that to make sure everything is right so yeah basically uh, in the next few uh, few the next few tutorial I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna cover uh, Next, next tutorial is going to be um, the conditional branching command that I've already done, but 
the video was also in bad quality, so I'm gonna cover command uh, C1 C to CF, which are basically the same except they have a different uh, size of argument each. So uh, I'm gonna cover this, and my third tutorial is probably gonna be on the uh, countdown tutorial, which I've done, uh, which I've done a, a written tutorial uh, a few years back, but uh, never done a video one. So, so uh, in the the comments of uh, the YouTube video, I'm gonna link the uh, event command document and event dump document. Event dump is basically uh, a readable, um, a readable. Uh, disassembly of uh, the dialogues and all the event code so you can search through that it makes uh, the event work a lot easier so now uh, we're at the, the right point I'm just gonna make sure everything is fine so basically everything should just go as normal although the, the code has been moved to uh, expanded uh, area. So this is the, the time, yeah, all right, dialogue, everyone moves. So yeah, basically uh, we have succeeded uh, in uh, our event move. Uh, so uh, this is pretty cool because uh, what you can do after, uh, I'll just go back to um, uh, to the original event which was uh, 0C99F1 I think, yeah, yeah. So basically uh, what you can do, you can free up uh, a block of uh, event code and uh, since in the level editor uh, FF6LE or Zone Doctor you can only assign uh, events to NPC from CA to CC uh, each new event you put or on event tiles or NPC you can you can call the uh, you can assign the event as a let's say ear and put right away a B2 command so so your empty spots in the uh, in the in the event code uh, in that you free up can be like a bunch of B2 commands that jumps elsewhere to where you write the whole event what you need. So uh, this is what I, I've done in my uh, my hack that is no longer in development. But uh, yeah. Anyway, that uh, covers uh, that covers the tutorial pretty much. So uh, if you got any question, you can come uh, on the ff6hacking.com and uh, ask a question in threads or. Uh, yeah, preferably in threads, so uh, you make a thread or uh, you can you can also uh, write comments in the, uh, the video, uh, the YouTube um, thread. Alright, see you guys, thanks.